Well, here we are. I've had a couple of weeks off doing work on the house, refitting the kitchen, new worktops and what have you. Also, my solar panels managed to spring a leak due to frost bursting out one of the plastic connectors, so I've refurbed that. Anyway, so I'm picking up the H-bow again, but I can't remember where I was. So I need to get it on the tip. Right, just trying to work out where I am, really. So, I've obviously done a bit of work since the last time, but with a two week break I can't really tell what it was. But I've checked the brace height, and if we work on a six foot bow being a six inch brace, then the brace height is a twelfth of the length of the bow. Well that's 38 inches, and a twelfth of that is 3.16 or something. So if we call it a three and a quarter inch brace, a little quick shifty and yeah we're not quite there we're about two and three quarters so i can twist that string up a bit get the brace height right so basically what i'm saying is do we want that upper limb slightly weaker than the lower looks looking quite nice isn't it that don't look too bad left limb a little stiff let's just take it to 40. there we are that's oh something went tick i didn't like that so that's 40 at whatever that mark was. 40 at 14 inches. Well, that's actually not bad. Because why am I making a short draw bow anyway with short limbs? Well, short limbs will recover faster. Um, if you don't believe that, get a, a metre rule. Put your hand on it, clamp it on the bench, twang the end, and it will go dubba dubba dubba, you get a nice low note. Shorten the ruler, slide it further onto the bench, hold your hand out, and you twang, it will go a higher note. A higher note is moving faster, faster vibration. So short limbs recover quicker. The other advantage is a shorter aloe is A, lighter, and B, more aerodynamic. Uh, I can't do the aerodynamics, but there was a really nice article in Scientific American, probably back in the 70s or something, talking about crossbow bolts uh, versus arrows. And basically, short, shorter is more aerodynamic than longer. Uh, so, there's your two basic reasons for a short bow. Fast limbs, more aerodynamic projectile. The disadvantage of the shorter, more aerodynamic projectile is you can't find the bugger. But anyway, I think we're moving along nicely. I'll ease off this limb a little and put it back in the handle, maybe make some little shims that I'll tighten it up with and have a test shot. But we're getting close now. Right, I've eased off that left limb a whisker, just trying to feel where it was a bit thicker. Couple of thick points, thin points. Twisted the string up a little to increase the brace height, which is now near as damn it three inches. But I noticed that measuring the draw length was wrong because normally you're measuring from up where well, you've got a thick bow, about an inch or so thick, you're measuring from here. But measuring from there, 24 inches reads 23. Now theoretically the bow's 38 inches so I should be able to draw it 50% of that but that's pushing it really so that'd be a 19 inch draw. I'm probably going to look for 16, 17 really. At least I don't want it to explode before I've had at least a couple of shots out of it. Yeah I think that's looking better. Let's pull into that white line. Let's go a bit more, Liz. It's good. In fact, the left's perhaps arguably looking slightly weak now. Slightly weak there. But that was a whisk of over 40. That one inch past that white mark which is 16, so that's really 15 inches, so it's 15 inch draw which is more than I had last time. 
so I reckon if I just twist that string up another couple of turns we'd probably be good for a test shot. There's a couple of potential issues with the old um, way the bow was mounted into the grip. And you have to bear in mind this would be where the string is. Well the brush rest was that side of the bow which isn't ideal but it needed to be that side because the way the bow is assembled so this piece is removed difficult to do with one hand whilst you're filming and then this rotates and slides out that way well, obviously I can't have a, a brush rest this side else it will stop the bow sliding over like that unless of course I make it removable so I'm thinking of milling a shallow hole here some sort of groove that a rest can drop into uh, I haven't quite worked it out yet I've got a fair amount of thickness I could cut a nice little groove across here we're just about ready for a test shot I've made a new key piece that goes in there so it matches up nicer with this bow I'll use the original brush rest just for a test shot but I'm going to make a better one that fits mm. this side so that um, gives me a little bit of overdraw if necessary I found an old brush I think it's for applying hair colour or something and glued it into a bit of wood I'll trim that off and whittle it all down and make it so it can be mounted on that side but removable so the bow can still be fitted in anyway I'll give it a little test plink and see what happens I'm not quite sure how this will work out because I'm going to try a little test shot using a flipper rest rather my flipper loose, which I haven't really tried before. Mm, strange. That's a shortish draw. Well that went pewing. Nothing exploded. Arrow stuck in very straight, so it's quite Encouraging is the word we're searching for. About a 15 inch draw. There's the arrow stuck in nice and straight. 